Hello everyone, welcome to your very own channel Programming Knowledge and in this particular video we are going to learn that how to use template literals in JavaScript. Template literal is basically a special way to create strings in JavaScript. It uh, actually allows you to insert variable and write multiple line string easily. Right. So in this particular lecture or a tutorial, I will explain you every concept related to template literals. You just need to watch the video carefully till that. So let's go to the Visual Studio Code and understand this concept. So we are on our Visual Studio Code and inside our JavaScript file. And first uh, write the definition of a template literals that is template literal so what it is its definition says that a template literal is a special way to create strings strings in javascript right so this is the definition of template literals that a template literal is a special way to create strings in JavaScript, right? So uh, you will say that uh, for the writing and creating a string, we normally use the quotation mark. So what uh, special is about the template literals? I am going to explain that the same. Uh, template literals are basically denoted and are used with the help of backtick, backticks, right? And backticks are basically the quotation mark which is uh, below your below your escape key escape key try to understand below your escape key you will find this sorry this you can find this you can uh, can you see it right it is bent bent quotation mark a single quotation mark which is bent in the right direction so this is uh, below your escape key in your keyboard so uh, you need to find this first and your template literals are actually written inside this uh, backtick right okay so how it is done and what is the basic syntax of it okay let me take some example let's say const name equals to amit right and const greeting equals to now normally what we do is that hello and then we put a plus here and then what we do we write the name right okay name should not be used as it is a fixed keyword uh, for that I am going to use what boy name right it's called here also boy name okay fine now it will work all right okay now if I print the greeting What you will get see hello Amit you are getting hello Amit the Amit was coming from this particular variable and uh, this uh, basically this hello you would you put as a string there right so uh, okay this was the common method but I am saying that every time if you want to uh, put the value of any variable inside a string uh, you need to put this plus mark here and can you imagine that when you were writing a long string or a long paragraph and inside of which uh, when you need to uh, insert values from a variable multiple times uh, it will be quite disturbing for you that you all or every time you need to end your uh, quotation mark and then you need to plus a add button and then you need to write the boy's name or whatever the variable it is right so for that uh, what we can do is that simply use a backtick and inside the backtick you just write hello and then instead of using any plus mark you simply use a dollar sign and use a curly bracket inside of it you can see this there's some different color why because it is going to perform some action what you can simply write the variable name now inside of this curly bracket that is boy name right yeah and now if you go on your console you can see here again you are getting the same result hello Amit. it is not creating any error because this is a good way of writing the syntax 
of your string right so this is a uh, basically a syntax for your template literal how we use it now i will cover few more things a few more properties of template literals which uh, might you not find on the youtube easily but i want you guys to know it uh, so uh, template literals helps in uh, writing the multi line strings like multi line strings right so what uh, it is and how it helps let me show you uh, if i am writing const message equals to and i put a back tick and if i write multiple lines of data in, or a content inside of it it will print it with the exact same way like this is line one then this is line two this is line three so i have written three different line inside the back tick now what do you think that i will get when i print the message let's see as you can see i'm getting three different lines here this line one this line two this line three all three different lines are printed in a same way right in which i have given it inside the variable right but what if i have done i have used a quotation mark here let's see now if you go to the console you will see that there are a lot of errors because it will not allow you this quotation mark don't don't allow you to write multi-line strings right for writing multiple line strings what you need to do is that you simply uh, need to add a slash n at the end of every sentence and then you need to write a plus and then again you uh, sim uh, add a new quotation mark then write the content then again uh, add a slash and then n so this is how actually you write multiple lines in a normal way in a normal quotation mark right and then if you go you can see here uh, you are getting multiple line strings but th this is quite uh, you say that difficult to write because at end of every line you need to add the slash and and then you need to add a plus and then again you need to write the line next line thing so uh, for that way if we were actually using backtick right to resolve this problem we actually use backtick now we don't need to write the slash n here you can simply remove it and you don't need to write plus also just enter make an enter and now you can see that the multi line strings is being printed on your console so this is the concept about multi line string in the template literals right i hope you get it now uh, you can also write the expressions inside a template literal right let me show you how expression inside template literal okay now if uh, let me give you an example const a equals to 10 const b equals to 20 now if i want to print the result of it like const result equals to the sum is inside the result i want to store the sum value right i want to print the sum now for uh, using the uh, traditional way what we do that we create another variable like uh, let sum equals to a plus b and then we actually call it here that is sum right and then if you go to the console you will find okay wait i have not printed it result right now if i go to the console i will get that this value of sum right so i am getting the expression here but don't you find it quite meshy that uh, every time I need to include a new variable and uh, complete the expression code here and then call it again using the plus mark and these all things. Is it quite meshy? Yes, it is. So this problem gets solved using template literals. How? You simply need to add a quotation mark instead of this quote. Uh, sorry, you simply need to use a back tick instead of this quotation mark. So just put it here. right okay now here what you have to do you simply have to use a dollar sign use a curly bracket and inside of it write your expression that is a plus b 
that's it now if you try to print this result you will find the same result that is the sum is 30 right so this is how you can add an expression inside a template here, right so this is very cool because it makes the thing very easy to work with right okay now let's move to the next topic that we can also call a function call function in template literal let me show you how let's write a function 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 name uh, let's say get a uh, name let's take an example of this and inside of it say i'm saying that it will return me return me what uh, return me a name that is a uh, piyush right okay so this is your simple code that every time you will call it you will it will return a name uh, a string that is piyush right okay so let's create a variable name welcome equals to i'm saying let's put a back tick here okay uh, and then we will write welcome and then what you need to do is that put a dollar sign put a curly bracket and write let's call this function here right let's call the function get name you can put it inside this curly bracket here and now if you try to print the uh, this welcome you can see the value which get returned by the function is actually being used inside the expression and it is get stored inside a variable called welcome right so this is a very great feature and a very great uh, i say that property of the template literal that you can call either expression you can call either a, a variable or you can call either a function inside a template literal with the help of backtick so this was a concept about template literal i hope you get it uh, very clear i have covered every concept related to it so if you find it uh, good for your understanding uh, make sure that you like the video and stay updated and connected to this channel uh, goodbye